So I definitely feel like you, you have a new person, you have to let go of the old in order for you to pursue things with the new person. And I feel like um, it's hard for you to do that. So I, I feel like it's hard for a lot of you, mainly because you have very, very strong, like physical um, chemistry, physical, like, um, you know, sexual chemistry with one partner, the old partner or the one that you're in a relationship with or the one that you are uh, somehow linked up with. And then the other person, there's more of an emotional connection. So that's always a dilemma for everybody. But I feel like with Cap, um, I'm sorry, with Scorpios, I feel like with Scorpios, you might not be able to navigate the situation and have the outcome that you want. So it basically tells me that you're not going to be able to start anything new unless you end the old, okay? So let some things go, close some doors, and aim for more of the emotional connection because that's where... As a water sign, that's what you you really need to be happy anyways, right? Um, so that's my advice concerning, you know, just emotional connections anyways, because I feel like ultimately that is something that you are going to need if you, if you want to be happy, if you want a relationship to be stable, okay? So let's see what's in store for you. We have some very good cards, actually. Yeah, we have some really good cards. Um, so... For a lot of you, if you are thinking about going back to school, this is a really, really good time for you to start, you know, sending out um, uh, applications, resume, if you're looking for new jobs, and as well as taking up a course of study, okay? We have the magician here, and the magician here is like a, a skills upgrade. Somebody is already like very knowledgeable, but I definitely feel this card deals... I'm not reading the traditional uh, Rider weight interpretation i'm reading this situation as somebody who is doing some research some digging some um looking into like to expand their financial base okay so it's linked up here with the wheel of fortune and it's basically telling me you have a lot of opportunities coming in and they're coming in in droves so it's really important for you to like figure out what it is that has long-term potential for you. And it's really important for you to follow your heart and pursue things that are, um, that somehow like emotionally that resonate with you. Don't scatter your energy. You have a very, very calm and like a very systematic way of doing things. So I don't feel you are in danger of scattering your energy. What I do feel is that you might wear yourself out and you might lose a lot of sleep if you are not being deliberate with your energy. So I feel like, you know, seeking things that you uh, to do that brings you emotional satisfaction. And we're not talking about, you know, like going out and just um, uh, doing something that brings like instant gratification. We're talking about something that is a little bit more um, deliberate, that is a little bit more like um, long term. I feel like that's what you need to be happy, okay? So it seems to me like it's a very, very busy month this month. For a lot of you, you are going to have to like study something. I feel like this can be new procedures that are implemented in the workplace and things are being done differently. So you are going to have to review how the superiors want the things done. You might have to be, you might be in a position where you are disseminating information to like your uh, employees or you're in, you're put in center stage where you are going to have to give like some seminars, some lectures on how to do something, how to build something. So I feel like you are the magician. You are in this position where you have the knowledge and the skills and you are disseminating the information. You're spreading information so that other people can uh, learn from you. Okay, so both of these cards are great for like publishing, uh, publishing a book, working on a book, publishing manuals and things like that as well. So I feel this energy coming through where you are going to be quite busy. And I feel that for a lot of you, you're doing um, some type of a detailed oriented work and it's going to require a lot of like energy. So, you know, make sure you get enough sleep so that you don't make minor mistakes. So I feel you doing something kind of, um, it's like, I don't feel like it's data entry, but it's something that requires a lot of like synthesis of different ideas and then combining them all together. So just make sure you get everything laid out and that you get all the facts straight. So don't skimp on research, okay? Now, in terms of your overall financial situation, um, there's travel opportunities coming through 
as well as finances linked up with it, okay? So for a lot of you, for your job, you might physically, re that you might be in a job, excuse me, that requires a lot of physical travel. And I feel that's why it's taxing on your uh, sleep state, okay? So you it might be cutting into your sleep time because I feel like you're not getting very little sleep. Um, and I say that mainly because like usually when I do a spread for Scorpio, a lot of the water energy comes out. Uh, this month, it seems like there's a lot of wands, like rods, a lot of restless energy. So I feel like you're constantly on the move. You're very dynamic and um, it, it's hard to pinpoint, you know, where you are. So you're darting from place to place. So I feel a lot of travel opportunities coming through for you, possibly giving seminars as well. So I feel like for a lot of you, you might be in a sales position where you have to dart from place to place in order to secure a client or a portfolio. You might be like running around the country giving seminars and each seminars that you give, there's like money that, that comes as a result of it. So it's not a client base operation. It's more of like a seminar, one-time thing type of operation that requires you to uh, come through. On the other side of this um, Ace of Pentacles is that there is a new job opportunity as well that might require more travel from your end. It can be a little bit frustrating because I feel like, you know, like all water signs, you're very rooted to the home environment. But I feel like out of all the water signs, you are the most, um, I, I guess like you're a fixed sign, but I feel like cancers would have a really hard time traveling all the time, being on the road all the time because they they crave the comfort and the, the stability of a home environment, Pisces as well. But I feel for you, you crave it, but you know how to create it uh, wherever you go. So, but either way, I do feel that there's a lot of opportunities, a lot of abundance, a lot of travel coming as a result of some work situation. Um, as a result of it, you might run into a lot of people, okay? So there might be temptation, okay? So if you're in a relationship and you're traveling all the time, just be mindful about that, okay? Keep in contact with your significant other or your girlfriend, boyfriend, family members too because I feel this energy where you're jumping around all the time and it's really hard to pinpoint you, which means that if you have a significant other waiting around at home, they might have trouble contacting you and they might grow either weary or insecure as a result. So keep that in mind, okay? These are very, very good cards and it, it indicates a lot of self-discipline and a lot of financial abundance. And I feel like the financial abundance is coming through as a result of self-discipline, self-mastery. So very strong cards. And I, I like seeing these really directed strong cards for Scorpio. Um, it um, it's like a higher order type of cards with the magician, the uh, wheel of fortune, the chariot and the ace of pentacles. So both of these is like, um, well, actually all of these cards indicate like manifesting, making your dreams come true. Not only, you know, conjuring them up, but like going out into the world and pursuing them. So I definitely feel you're operating on the higher vibration of Scorpio, which is, you know, the, the phoenix rather than the initial, like the snake. So it, it's, um, it's a really high power, high functioning and higher vibrational energy of Scorpio. This is really good. So if that's what we're starting the month out with, so I feel like you're on the right track, okay? Now, for a lot of you, um, there is some somebody in your midst that is potentially, so I, I can't really pinpoint this energy, actually. Um, I want to pull out a different another card because I was, uh, when it came out, I was conflicted about how it's playing out. Okay, so you're basically, you're straddling between two people. You're straddling between two people. You're trying to decide, okay? So you have the Queen of Pentacles, which is a, an Earth sign. So this is a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This can be male or female. These are not gender specific, but I feel like I, I'm, I'm sensing very strongly. It could be, you know, like uh, a stronger male energy that are, that are straddling, mainly because I feel that you're still trying to decide. And I feel a very strong male energy, mainly because of the, the major arcana cards. So... Regardless, I do feel that there is here an earth sign. So this is somebody that is very nurturing, that is um, very self-contained, financially stable, very practical as well. 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is the sun, moon, or rising that you're dealing with. And you have a younger fire sign. Fire signs are Sagittarius, Leo, um, Aries. And this is, I, I feel like this fire sign is definitely somebody that is younger than you, okay? And I pulled out a clarifier card, and we have the Two of Swords. And you're basically, you know, it, it doesn't show me anything else except that you're at an impasse. You don't even know which way to go. And the fact that the moon is showing up here, I feel like there is a fire sign that you have a very strong, um, possibly like a very strong emotional connection with. Whereas with the earth sign, there's a lot of stability. There's a lot of compatibility and stability, but there's a very strong emotional pull here. So you're straddling between the two and you're not really sure what you want to do. The earth sign might be somebody that is new. The fire sign might be someone you've known for a while. I don't know if you've dated them for a while or you've known them for a while. But I feel like the earth sign must have entered the picture like possibly, you know, a few months ago. This seems to me like it's a new energy, even though it's a queen. It seems to me like it's new. Um, I'm also feeling as well is that there might be some geographical distance with this earth sign, mainly because I, I see the chariot and the chariot usually indicates travel. And there are the two horses here, so that might indicate some type of a long distance type of liaison with this person. And there's also the, the fire sign, which is somebody that might reside. I don't feel like they're as far away as the other person. So you're traveling quite a bit. And let me just emphasize the fire sign is a sun, moon or rising. I'm getting more sun, moon or rising or like the energy that they exhibit. OK, I'm not getting so much like just straight sun sign with these cards. So. There's definitely some temptation. There's definitely, you're dealing with very, very different energies. And, you know, sometimes just opposite attracts. But I, I feel like there's a very strong emotional pull with this um, fire sign. So on top of that, I do feel that when it comes to consistency, when it comes to like love and passion and, you know, feeling wanted and needed, I feel that the fire sign is the one that you're getting a lot of communication from. OK, so um, the eight of wands indicates like the arrows of love in the traditional Rider Waite deck. And I feel like with this situation, it's the same way. Um, this person might be sending out a lot of uh, affectionate, you know, text messages, a lot of you might be getting a lot of communication from this fire sign. So this is. Um, um, Sagittarius Leo Aries and I do feel that because of it it really boosts your ego it makes you feel good it makes you feel secure because um, sometimes in love relationships Scorpios you tend to be a little bit insecure too but you will never admit it so I feel like this person is really um, is really affectionate they're they're just very open and you know honest with their feelings they wear their heart on their sleeves what you see is what you get so then you you feel like you feel like it's stable and you feel like you don't have to worry about, you know, where you stand with them because you always know, which is like the a great way to approach relationships anyways. So I feel like you might have this emotional pull to this uh, fire sign because they're, they're nurturing and they know how to, you know, really stroke your ego. And um, I feel like because they're affectionate, because they're so open, you tend to be a little bit secretive. So you, you like it when someone is upfront and honest because you don't want to have to play the guessing game and you don't want other people to like um, be hiding things as well. So you're naturally suspicious. And I feel like it's a, 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 a nice energy when you're dealing with someone who's so direct because then you don't have to, you know, constantly second guess. OK, so there's a lot of communication coming through from a fire sign. Uh, what I'm also sensing as well is um, for those of you who are in married um, like uh, partnerships, I feel that there might be some um, mother-in-laws visiting is what I'm feeling. Uh, they're traveling long distances, mother-in-laws or like traveling to see your mom, even your mom, your grandma, somebody that you consider, um, consider, excuse me, a mother figure. So there might be somebody that is, um, asking you whether or not you're going to go see them or you're making plans to go see your mother, your own mother. OK, so this is somebody like uh, that can give you very good advice as well. So I feel almost like, OK, if you're stuck in a situation where you're like trying to decide between two people, 
asking your mother for advice, I feel is a really good thing to do this, um, this month. Okay. Especially for those of you males watching, or, um, if you are a Scorpio dating women, it's really important to ask your mom. Mother knows best. Okay. But I feel like for this month, one of the advice I'm feeling is that you have some very, very strong, um, you have a very strong maternal influence circling around you and they are looking, it's like they're, they're in a position to guide you. You have a very strong mother figure watching over you. And I feel like your, your mother is, is full of wisdom. So, you know, coming to your mother, your grandmother, whoever that raised you, I feel that would be really important for you to, um, rely on them for, either i feel like it's sort of like your spirit guides speaking through them to relay some important messages for you because you're so busy and you're not getting enough sleep so they can't even come to you in your sleep state okay but sometimes hearing it through like an earthly channel would be better for us okay so it's like confirmation that you need your spirit guides are trying to access you but you're just like swamped all the time and you're exhausted when you're at sleep so even if you do dreams and they give you messages you won't remember it when you wake up because you're just like so tired so sleep deprivation is a major problem i see coming through for this month so be very careful about that okay um don't drink too much caffeine i feel like it's uh, it's really going to mess up your sleep schedule and i definitely see traveling across different time zones okay across different time zones coming through. Now let's look at your advice cards. Um, so we have a situation where you're definitely, I feel like you're dividing your time between two people. Okay. And just be careful about this situation. I feel like, <clears throat> I feel almost like you're scattering your energy and you're, you're, um, you're getting a lot of suitors, especially for those of you who are single and out dating. You're basically inundated with a lot of suitors and what you do is up to you but I definitely feel that you're exhausting yourself okay um there will be people that will ask about your previous state of affairs and it's really important for you to defend yourself but you know for example I, I feel like there are people that will be in your business that will pry that will ask questions and the point here is that for example if you are dating two people and um, someone is like, oh, I saw you with such and such. You have to explain yourself. Don't defend yourself in that man. In, you know, like if you're caught, just don't talk your way out of it. Just admit it. Okay. Because I feel like that's what's happening here. Some people are just not going to be um, tolerant of it. And if you're like giving them, you know, like a, a lie, they're going to know. And I feel like a lot of you, you have really good candidates coming through. But like I said, you, you want to just, you know, look for the value in people. Okay. And aim for the ones that, that you, that, that add value to your life rather than scattering your energy far and wide. Okay. The other thing that I am sensing here is for a lot of you, there is a, uh, an air sign in your midst. So this is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And I feel like there is a situation here where somebody is handing money to somebody else, is offering financial assistance, is offering advice, is offering help. So it could be you to them or them to you. But what I'm feeling is the energy between the two of you is very jarring. So this is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, male or female. I'm, I'm feeling like this is not a female here. It's um, gender neutral. But what I'm feeling is there's a lot of like uh, reciprocity in terms of help assistance coming through from both sides. But I definitely feel the communication between the two of you is not like the best. So be patient with this person. Just know that they're not trying to uh, do anything to hurt you. It's just you're a water sign. You're very emotionally in tune and you're very intuitive. This person is an air sign. So they need all the details and all the, you know, all the um, information before they can act. Okay. So they might ask a lot of questions and you, you know, you're secretive. And, um, I feel like that's where the, the, the trouble is because I feel like they just naturally ask a lot of questions and you're naturally quite secretive. So you feel like they're, um, they're like, um, 
I guess invading your privacy but I don't feel that's the case so make sure that you know what you're doing before you jump head first or engage with this air sign I feel that you you want to you know they've got a sword and you've got a wand and you know between the two of you I don't feel it ending too well for you because you know they're 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 sharp so just make sure you know what you're doing before you engage with this person, okay? If you are romantically involved with them, I want you to just be careful if they are asking you questions. They obviously already know the answer because they're, they're quite strategic. So I'm going to leave it at that. And let's just go into your love reading. But overall, really, really good month. Just don't succumb to temptation if you are already in a relationship and you're thinking about stepping out of it. I feel for a lot of you, there's already somebody that you have your eyes on, single or coupled. Um, just be careful about that, okay? So let's see what's in store for you for love. Scorpios. I, I, I was just getting this. I feel like a lot of you are involved with a Capricorn. A lot of you are somehow involved with a Capricorn. It keeps coming up. Um, okay, so... I mentioned this for the Aquarius reading. Um, I started doing like non-reversals with this deck, but then I accidentally did reversals last month. So I'm just going to stick with the reversal because I feel that it gives me a better read. Okay, So let's see what's in store for you for love. On with Scorpios for love for June 2016. So we have the seven of swords again, um, seven of wands again. This is a card about defense. Letting our guard down is one um, interpretation of it when it's in the reverse position. Okay, so this is interesting. I just want to point out the differences. Um, give me a second. This is quite interesting. Okay, so let me just talk about um, something that I just um, picked up. Okay, so we have these two cards earlier, the Seven of Wands and the Queen of Swords, okay? So both of these people are like in conflict and no one is uh, relenting, okay? So you're fired up, they're fired up, okay? And both people are wielding weapons. So... I guess in the love front, what you want to do is this. We have the same cards. It's the Seven of Wands and the Queen of Swords in the reverse. So if you want the other person to let their guard down, you yourself are going to have to let your guard down. So that means, you know, revealing information if you're being asked. Because I feel like they're not they're they're not inquisitive. They're not nosy. They're they're just they need some information to make a decision. And I feel that is really important for you to have a talk with this person. So I feel like, you know, if one person let their guard down, the other person would let their guard down. Once again, that mirroring effect that I was picking up for the mid month of uh, May is coming in as well. There is an important discussion. Both of you need to, you know, really approach it as adults and be very, very, um, open and honest with one another. Okay, so that's um, the first thing I want to point out. So let's talk about this situation. For a lot of you, um, there is, it seems to me like there is a, an air sign in your life. Okay, and it seems to me like this is somebody that brings you a lot of emotional happiness and satisfaction. We have the sun card. This is a card about success feeling this childlike uh, energy. Somebody is like really sparking your passion. I feel like for a lot of you, it might be a uh, an air sign. So the air signs are Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And once again, I am reminded of a message that in the past, there might have been really difficult communication between the two of you. And I feel that the energy, like in the past, you might have thought like, oh, everything was all their fault or, you know, why are they so difficult to deal with? But I feel like there's a lot of um, like um, epiphanies and realization coming through for this month where you are starting to realize that, okay, it takes two to tangle. So maybe I need to draw back my energy when I'm dealing with this person. So both parties do really need to put their guard down in order to have like any type of a communication flow. And 
in order to have any type of a meaningful contact with one another, okay? Um, for those of you who are dealing with like a, an ex-partner, so this is like, I feel somebody you were linked up with, um, you know, via marriage. So whoever, whatever that sign might be, you were linked up with marriage. I feel like, I feel almost like um, you're making a lot of money and I feel that they, they are coming through because they want, there's like some control issues here when it comes to um, money, okay? I feel like there are some exes as well that are coming back because we have here the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Swords is usually a situation that we thought was dead, gone, over with. They magically come back because they are divinely like ordained to be on your path, okay? So there is a situation you thought was gone and dead, is never coming back. It's making a comeback and it's com bringing with it a lot of karma and a lot of problems and you are going to have to sift through it. So however you've been dealing with that situation in the past, I feel like you're going to have to take a different approach. So that's what I mean by, you know, um, you can either choose to ignore it, like don't engage in conflict or find a different way to solve this problem or to, you know, have a different way to communicate with this other person. I feel for a lot of you, there is somebody or there there is somebody coming, making a comeback. This person is quite controlling, is very, very quite controlling. Um, so just be careful about that, okay? It's something you thought was done and over with, but it's coming back in. And I feel that one of the ways in which you can um, help yourself in this situation is, I mentioned earlier with the general reading that you have a lot of really powerful energy and the powerful energy via the magician. And um, so I feel that you want to do the right thing, okay? Aim for the right thing. Don't aim for, you know... Uh, winning a, an argument just, you know, to, to boost your ego, aim for the right thing, aim to do what is right, morally right, or what's right for both parties, not just, you know, just to win the battle. So I feel like that is something coming through, but I do sense you are dealing with somebody who is quite controlling. Um, <clears throat> what I'm also sensing is, um, for a lot of you too, there might be issues, um, if, especially if you are in a coupled or you have some, you have children with somebody. Um, there are issues regarding like child rearing. And I feel like one person wants to raise a kid this way and one person wants to like um, um, do something else with the kids. So I feel like some, some issues regarding children because we have the empress here. And the empress in the reverse usually indicates to me like um, a little bit of neglect when it comes to children, okay? Like um, somebody who's very lax when it comes to child rearing, discipline, and things like that. So that might be a problem, like a, a, a issue of contention coming between you and another person because I feel like some quarrels and disputes and things like that coming through. I definitely feel as well one parent is, is a lot more lax than the other. Uh, what I'm also feeling for a lot of you is, you know, I, I mentioned there is a fire sign, um, Sagittarius, um, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. So I'm getting the fire sign with all the wands energy. There is somebody that you have a very strong emotional connection with, but I feel like you're not very compatible. You're not very compatible, but you have this strong emotional pull towards them. You have, you might like finish each other's sentences. You might like, um, there's attraction, I feel. And I, I feel like you're conflicted. You're, you're quite conflicted. So there is a fire sign here, somewhat buddy that is quite established as well. So you're conflicted. And there's also an air sign in the mix where you've had very problematic communication. So I, I feel like the, the main theme here is that it seems like... <laughs> And I, I'm really not picking on you, Scorpios. Um, I feel like you're having trouble with the fire sign, like, you know, compatibility, understanding, mutual understanding. And then it seems like you're also having trouble with a, an air sign. And both of these signs are very, like, you know, cut to the chase, are very, like, um, what you see is what you get. So the problem here might be just because, you know, Scorpios, innately, you're a little bit uh, secretive. So I feel that it would be in your best interest to just, you know, reveal a little bit more of yourself this month, reveal your motives, reveal your feelings, and, you know, let 
lay it all out on the table, that's going to, it, it will lift these communication problems. It will get rid of these issues. Okay. Um, so that's, that's my suggestion because I feel like the people around you, they're just very matter of fact, but you're, um, you might keep yourself hidden. You, you might keep your motives hidden. You might be very curt or very like, um, um, what, what is the word for that? You, you might just not be very revealing of, uh, of your feelings of everything that's going on. So you might just be very short with your communication. So it would be best for you to try to flush this out. But I do feel a lot of um, conflict. If you let it escalate to conflict, it will escalate to conflict. So let your guard down. The other side will let their guard down, okay? I feel a lot of energies, like a really, really dynamic month. All these wands card, all these sword cards, they indicate to me like a lot of verbal exchange between you and another person, possibly going on like speed dating or meeting a lot of people. And you have to shift the way you communicate. So like with one sign, you might have to over explain with the other sign. You might have to like um, be more jovial, be more like fun and flirtatious. Whereas with the other sign, you have to be more philosophical. So you're doing this balancing act and uh, oscillating between, you know, fun and excitement and then, you know, more serious uh, communication. So that's what you're, you're juggling with. But I definitely feel a lot of people... A lot of people are interested in you and they're trying to, you know, like they're, they're stumbling over themselves to get to you. I definitely feel a person from the past coming back here with the 10 of swords. This is potentially a, a, um, a conflict laden type of a interaction between you and another person. And I feel like for a lot of you exes are coming back. Okay. Exes that you do not want to get involved with. They're coming back. And I feel like it's um it's a harsh energy. I honestly I feel like jealousy from your exes and it's preventing you from moving on with your life, okay? Um I also feel for a lot of you, this is a, a missed opportunity, like a missed, you know, one of those things where um you meet somebody and things never got off the ground and then they just disappear and you thought they're gone forever and you have a second chance here. So this is like a do-over. It's like a reset button. And it, it looks to me to be very good. Um, however, on the other end of it is a very difficult situation, dead and over with, but the exes are still interfering. Okay. Um, what I'm also feeling as well is, especially if you have an ex that is a water sign, um, I'm sorry, not a water sign, that is an air sign. If you have an ex that you were in a long-rooted relationship with and the relationship is over, don't get back with that air sign. Okay. So this is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. If you've had an ex that is an air sign that was a long standing, like difficult relationship, you know, there's, um, in every relationship, there's a lot of love, but there's a lot of difficulties as well. If that situation has ended, don't go back to it because I feel that you're being blocked from it. You're being blocked from going back to it because it's not on your karmic path. Okay. Whenever the emperor shows up, it indicates to me some type of a divine intervention or some type of a blockage that is not good for you, mainly because it's not meant on your path anymore. And by engaging in it, you're basically wasting your time. You're dissipating your energy and it's not going to lead anywhere. And it's going to bring a lot of frustration. It's going to bring a lot of like disappointments and it can't come back together because you have here a karmic block okay so if you have been involved with an air sign like you you were like married living together um in a relationship with like you know five ten seven years i don't feel that you can you can go back to that okay if it's a new person that's fine but if it's an old person there's very strong karmic block and i wouldn't go there because you're wasting a lot of your time and it's not going to pan out you're going to realize quickly that the same pattern starts to emerge. So for example, you've broken up and you get back together for like three, within three days, you're going to start to see the same old patterns emerging. And it's because that person is no longer on your karmic path. Okay. So Scorpios, a little bit of a heavy reading, but I do feel you want to keep yourself, um, honestly, just, um, 
fix your eyes on people that are worth it, okay? I feel like a lot of um, temptations are coming through, and I keep reverting back to the um, the yearly reading. All that glitter is not gold, so you want to really, you know, think about who has been there for you, who has uh, contributed value to your life, who you trust, and who you have a very strong emotional connection with, because I feel like go with your heart, aim for that emotional connection, aim for that one person that really understands you. That's going to um, guide you towards the right person and that's going to lead you on a good path. Excitement, fun, you know, sexual chemistry, all of those things are good and they can enhance a relationship. They can enhance a relationship, but they cannot make a relationship. That emotional connection needs to be there first for everybody, but mainly because you're a water sign. So I'm just going to emphasize and stress that, okay? You need that. Otherwise, you're not going to be fulfilled. So you're going to find yourself jumping around. If you're looking for that emotional high, if you're looking for, you know, that, that glittery person where there's a lot of chemistry, there's a lot of excitement, but there's very little emotional connection. So keep that in mind, all right? <laughs> 